All right, we're going to continue to solve some two-step equations, uh, but this time we're going to throw in the wrinkle of using the distributive property. While you're watching this video, you should use your worksheet to follow along. I'll do everything that's on the front side of this worksheet. The first question uh, asks, when solving equations, which operation do you do first? And this is something we should definitely have memorized by now that always deal with the adding and subtracting first. And since we're going to be using the distributive property in the equations we're going to solve, let's practice using the distributive property. So if I have 6 times x plus 7, what we have to distribute is the 6 to both the x and the 7. All right, be careful when you do that. We're going to distribute this 6 to the x using multiplication. So we'll do 6 times x, and then we'll do 6 times 7. 6 times x is 6x, and 6 times 7 is 42. So this will be the expression that we get. Let's do it again on the next one. 3 times 12 plus y. doesn't matter the order that they come in. We're still going to distribute that number that's on the outside to every term that's on the inside. So we're going to do 3 times 12 plus 3 times y. 3 times 12 is 36, and 3 times y is 3y. So that would be our simplified expression. So now, what if that distributive property is inside of our equation? In this problem, we still have that 6 times x plus 7, just like we did above, but now this is equal to 54. Our plan is to, to simplify the expression first, to distribute that 6 inside, just like we did above, so 6 times x is 6x, and 6 times 7 is 42. Once we distribute that 6, now it's just like every other problem that we were dealing with, where the first thing we want to do is deal with the adding and subtracting. So this says plus 42, so we want to subtract 42 from each side. On the left, we'll be left with 6x, and on the right, 54 minus 42, that's 12. Now we see that we got 6 times x, that's what 6x is, so the inverse of multiplying is dividing. We'll divide both sides by 6 to get those two to cancel, and we're left with x equals 12 divided by 6 is 2. Let's go through a few more examples. 3 times 12 plus y is equal to 51. Our plan is to first distribute that 3 into both uh, terms, just like we did above. 3 times 12 is 36, and 3 times y is 3y is equal to 51. Now our equation is a regular old two-step equation. We want to get the variable alone, so I don't want to sub subtract 3y. I don't want to subtract 3 uh, because the y is in the 3. I want to take care of this 36, so I'm going to have to subtract 36 from both sides. Because 36 minus 36 is 0, those two cancel, and I'm left with 3y on the left side. On the right side, we got 51 minus 36, and that's going to be 15. We continue because 3y is 3 times y. To get rid of that 3, now we'll divide both sides by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Those two cancel. We'll have 1y is equal to 15 divided by 3 is 5. This next one has a subtraction in it, but don't be scared. Our process is still the same. Take that 3 and distribute it to both terms. 3 times x is 3x, and then 3 times 2 is 6. Now it's just a regular old equation, so solve it like 1. Since I see minus 6, the inverse of minus 6 is going to be plus 6. So I'll add 6 to both sides. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0. Those two cancel, and I'm left with 3x. And on the right-hand side, we have 15 plus 6. That's 21. And now divide both sides by 3 to get rid of that 3. x equals 21 divided by 3 is 7. 
last example here, when I got negative 6 times 2n minus 5 is equal to negative 6. When we distribute, we want to distribute this entire negative 6 inside there. Not just the 6, but the negative 6. So we'll have negative 6 times 2n minus negative 6 times 5 is equal to negative 6. So take your time and do this multiplication right. When we have negative 6 times 2, that's negative 12. And minus a negative is going to be adding. 6 times 5 is 30. Is equal to negative 6. Now we have our regular old two-step equation. All right, don't worry about the term with the n in it because we want to get rid of the adding and subtracting first. That means I'm going to take care of the plus 30 by subtracting 30 from both sides. Since 30 minus 30 is 0, we're left with negative 12n on the left side. And negative 6 minus 30, if, you, if you're having trouble doing that in your head, use a calculator to help you out. But negative 6 minus 30 is negative 36. We have one step left to do. Don't get overwhelmed by that negative. We're just taking negative 12 times n. How do you undo times? By using division. So we'll divide by 12, the negative 12 on both sides, because negative 12 divided by negative 12 is 1. That leaves me with n on the left. And on the right, negative 36 divided by negative 12 is positive 3. Now if you flip your worksheet over, you'll see a handful of problems that you can try on your own.